Oh, what's up guys, it's Ricky and on this particular video, uh, I remember the video after the whole shebang with TV Joshua's passing and all, and it was of David Biome. Uh, it was it's an old video, I think from last year or something like that, when they were doing some declaration stuff. And so the video had come up for a while, but I never made a reaction to it. So I wanted us to actually go into it to kind of discuss um, some of these things of the value of life, which is one of the things that you get if you're a person who reads the Bible at any particular point. It's the reality show we do daily Christian commentary videos. There's going to be other videos that are done today. This list right here shows you the kind of videos that are there today. Uh, Y'all yeah, tell me what you think of this, <laughs> of all the videos that are done today. So do check them out. They'll be down in the pinned comments so you can watch them one by one as you go. And so let's see what this one actually says. This is where it starts. I'm a man of God. I've never spoken any word that God did not confirm. So he has never spoken anything that God has not... Mm, okay. Now listen, and I'm led by the Spirit of God. I went to a village and a notorious boy was arrogant. You can see the devil through this boy. And by the leading of the Holy Ghost, and I pointed at the boy, I said, you boy, if you don't turn, you'll be dead. They told me he died three days or so after. This is a boy who you can't shoot him. Military men are afraid of him. But gun cannot enter him. But the same little man shot him one bullet, he picked him up. Okay, if you didn't see him, uh, they kind of do slide he over him. He was so arrogant. He was arrogant. He was a demon in human personality. He was, if you look at him, they are cleaning his face. I see him. That one, they are cleaning his face. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Bring the way they are cleaning his face. You see this boy, they are cleaning the face? It's this one here with the, with the purple hurt. It's not alive anymore. He, he, I was saying, say after me. He refused to make a call. You can see Satan. And I pointed. And so that's the first part there. To say. Uh, people can't deny Jesus because you call them. That's um, for an idea altogether. People have the choice. Okay? They can make the choice against him. Uh, because we have Jesus, it doesn't make Jesus <laughs> like universal. Not everybody wants him. Like, And I think in most cases we can't reconcile. How can a person not want Jesus? Yeah, there are people that don't want him. Like they genuinely have a hatred of the idea of holiness or anything like that or being told what is right and wrong there are people like that and so for him to have said okay he invited him to uh, to, to receive christ and the guy rejected and <laughs> there are people like that at him i said hey you are not born here listen if you don't give your life you are dead it's not a life as i'm talking Soldiers shot him dead. Now listen. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, anyone after you go this week. So that's the part that I wanted us to address. So anyone that is against anybody inside the church, his church particularly, they are going to die. I wanted to illustrate a couple of things here with David Obiomi's thinking. It's very wrong because it corrupts the person to be always entitled to be answered. And not knowing that God's mind is not our own. We, we are to adapt our thinking to God's thinking. And the Bible gives us that thinking. The Bible gives us that outlay of what we ought to or what is expected of us. Continue. Now imagine how many people in their era might be against you that week if what he was saying was god ordained imagine just people who might have been plotting to do something uh, to make you lose your job some someone was plotting against th so many things this is the same thing that uh, jesus actually addressed when the disciples came to him and said ah Jesus, these people, they, are, they want to, <laughs> they are against you. So let us call fire down. And Jesus says, you don't know of what spirit you are. 
So when he says by the anointing, therefore, I question what anointing is it that declares people the opposite direction from where Jesus is. He says the Son of Man is not here to destroy, but that through him we may have life. Even those ones who are in the wrong. You, at the one point, you offended someone. So if someone was doing those prayers, you, <laughs> there was a chance that you might have not gotten salvation. Anyone after your life goes this week. Anyone after you and I dies this week. In the name of Jesus. So you see, people have been desensitized by this, this form of Christianity. Now, bear in mind, I'm not saying he's a false prophet. I'm saying in this teaching, he's wrong. <laughs> I'm saying in what he's just taught his church there, that they are in authority of other people's lives, as long as the person might be against them in one particular area or the other. What does it mean that someone is against you? The Bible is very clear. Ephesians says, uh, we we'd fight not against flesh and blood. And so, if your war is against flesh and blood, question mark. See, they're teaching people to be carnally minded, but not only carnally minded, uh, to seek blood. Yeah, you must die. <laughs> it's contrary to, to what the Bible would have. It's very contrary to what the Bible would have. But if these individuals were to have things their way, the world would be upside down. But we thank God <laughs> that things don't go their way. This is unbiblical. What he's doing here is unbiblical. This entire thing of, it goes with the back to sender movement, people with all these things of prophetic movement, which people just say, okay, if somebody was against you or doing something, back to sender. So we send the fire back. Now, if they sent it by Juju, <laughs> are you now commanding the Juju? So you can see the contradiction in the idea you're repaying uh, hatred with hatred you're repaying death with death it's not the bible and the spirit that moves and a person to speak like that itself carnal not the bible i'm not saying he's a false prophet i'm going to repeat if you listen to him you can go on listening to him i'm saying here know when to distinguish when a person is talking out of their flesh that's carnal, that's speaking there. That's not biblical. So if, if you can find it, please do show me in the Bible. Jesus rebuked it. Now you are allowing it. Brings up big questions. Is reality show with the daily Christian commentary videos. Just a highlight here. Know when to say when a person is wrong. If